you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. Label not for the meat which perish, but for that meat which endures until everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him has God the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he has sent. And they said therefore unto him, What sign shall it thus then that we may see and believe thee? What does thy works? Our father did eat, did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses give you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and give life unto the world. Amen. Does that read the scripture 26 to 33? Let us know that Jesus is the bread of life. Amen. That cometh down from heaven. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Again, we come before the throne of grace, calling yes. upon your holy and righteous name. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, we came just to give you some humble thanks, O oh God, yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you that you allow us, dear God, to come out to the house of prayer once again. Yes. Father, we thank you, dear God. We didn't came, dear God, for no form or fashion, O oh God, but we came, dear God, to worship and to honor you, O oh God. And to give you some home of thanks and to hear your word, O oh God, expecting, dear God, something great from you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, help us, dear God, to live a life, dear God, that is worthy of you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, help us, dear God, to walk right and to talk right and to do the things that are pleasing in your sight, oh God. Not what we desire, dear God, but what you desire for us to do in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Father, we ask that you will look down, dear God, upon Father, our children. Father, we ask your blessing and your anointings upon them, dear God, that you would touch their little hearts and minds, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would take them, dear God, from the evil one, in the name of Jesus, that the evil one come to steal, kill, and destroy. We ask that you would cover our children in your blood, oh God, not only our children, dear God, but the parents as well, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Keep us covered in your blood, protection, oh God, in the name of Jesus. But take us, Father, from the evil one, but take our hearts and our minds, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh Father. Open up our ears, dear God, that we will hear your word, dear God, that your word this morning will fall on good grounds, dear God, that we may not sin against it, dear God, but it will bring forth fruit, oh God, that it will multiply in the name of Jesus. Not allow, dear God, the evil one to rob us of your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. But that your word will fall on good ground, that it will bring forth growth, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you will bless everyone, dear God, under the sound of my voice, oh God. Father, we ask you, dear God, that you will bless from the greatest to the least, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless from the poor pit, dear God, to the back door, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Bless, dear God, Pastor Green, dear God, as he come forth with your word, oh God. We ask your blessing, your anointing, supine, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless his family, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, bless, dear God, your eternal poor pit, oh God. Bless in a mighty and a special way, oh God. Bless your deacons, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Bless all of the members, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, God. Bless the mind in a special way, dear God, the Lord that are standing at the door, oh God. Bless the musician, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless the praise team, oh God, as you come to sing praises to your name, dear God. Act that you would anoint voices, oh God, in the name of Jesus. 
Let it come forth, dear God. Let it flow, oh God. Let the rivers of water, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, dear God. We thank you, Father, for you being God, for God all by yourself. We thank you, dear God. We ask your blessing upon us, dear God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would forgive us, Father, for anything that we might have done, said, that you would trip wrong, dear God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would forgive us for it, oh God. We ask you, dear God, that you would help us to walk in the spirit, oh God, that we may not feel the lust of the flesh, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for your guidance, oh God. We pray for your deliverance, oh God. Wherever we need to be delivered, God, we ask that you would deliver us in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father. And we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
loves us so much that he sent us his son. Amen. His son named Jesus. Praise God. And because of his son, we can celebrate what he's done for us. Amen. Evangelist, if you want to come up, you can come up. It's up to you. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for him, his son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. We thank God for preacher, elder, lead into these evangelists. Amen. 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 Carrie Clark, we thank God. Amen. Praise God for them and to all the deacons. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you, gentlemen. Amen. We thank God for everybody. Amen. Every member of this church, you're important to God. Amen. 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 I don't care who you are, what you do, you're important to God. Amen. You matter to Him. Regardless of what the enemy may try to tell you, how many of y'all know the devil is a liar? Yes. 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 The devil is a liar and there's no truth in him. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. So regardless of what anybody may tell you, you matter to God. Yes. How do I know? Because he's given us grace and mercy. Yes. Yes. He's given us chance after chance. God loves us. His love flows through all of us. The love of God. Amen? Amen. Remember that God does love you. Amen. How do I know? Because the Bible says that he yes. loved the world so much yes. that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. And I love the fact that it don't matter who you are because he goes on to say whosoever that means that includes you, 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 and all of you. Amen. Whosoever believeth in him shall not what? Yes. Perish, but have everlasting life. Do you understand what the word everlasting means? Yes. Everlasting means forever yes. and ever yes. and ever yes. and ever. Yes. That means you will never die. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm, that's enough to give God glory for right now. That's enough to worship him for right there. We give honor to First Lady. Today, we thank God for you all. Our scripture comes from First Corinthians today. First Corinthians. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm. Ooh, Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 11. I don't understand why God's had me on this crying spell lately.
obtains to overcome me. I have moments of remembering Jesus and all that he's done for me.
of the Lord's body and blood. Mm -hmm. The original gathering together with Jesus and his disciples, it was to commemorate the Passover, a great event that happened in the Bible. And they commemorated this with a meal. The Passover was a celebration of the great exodus where God helped the children of Israel escape from their slavery in Egypt. He did this, as you know, the story by inflicting 10 plagues upon the ancient Egyptians before Pharaoh would eventually have to let God's people go. But the 10th plague was the death of the Egyptian firstborn. So the Israelites were instructed, my brothers and sisters, to mark the doorposts of the homes. And they marked them with the blood of the slaughtered lamb. And upon seeing this, the Spirit of the Lord knew to pass over the firstborn in these homes. The wine they drank then was a representation of that blood on the pole. This will be found in Exodus chapter 23, excuse me, 12 and 23. When Pharaoh freed the Israelites, the Bible said they left so fast that they couldn't even wait for the bread to arrive. Or leaven. So they ate unleavened bread. And this is why the Passover is referred to as the feast of unleavened bread. This meal, my brothers and sisters, was to be a sign as stated in Exodus, which means a, a sign, a mark, or a token, which brings to mind, shows, or confirms anything, either past, present, or to come. It was a reminder, my brothers and sisters, of what God did for them and freed them from bondage. Mm. His mercy showed towards them in that he provided a way of escape. Amen. Glory be to God, my brothers and sisters, this meal was prepared a certain way. There was a distinct order to it. 1,500 years later after <coughs> the Exodus, Jesus, Jesus and his disciples, they came to Jerusalem about a week before the Passover during this week. And he taught in Jerusalem during the day, and then he spent the night in Bethany, the Bible tells us. In Jerusalem on the Thursday evening before his betrayal, we find our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, ready to observe his last Passover meal. Jesus told the disciples, my time is at hand. He says, I will keep the Passover at the house with the disciples. And it was during this meal, we read of the institution of the Lord's Supper. Mm -hmm. The elements of the Lord's Supper are the same as for the Jewish Passover feast, which was unleavened bread and unfermented wine. The Lord's Supper my brothers and sisters, is a memorial which preaches and proclaims Christ's death on the cross. Amen. Paul let the Corinthians know about the solemn history of the Lord's Supper, an account that he received directly by inspiration from God. Amen. The memorial design of the supper is explained in these verses. The phrase that Jesus Christ uses to do this in remembrance of me. It's reminding them of the fact that he shall go soon. There's no way that you would have to remember somebody unless they're gone. So he was foreshadowing the fact that he would leave them. That he would have to go away for a while. That his mission on this side of the water was about to be over. 
My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ wants us as we partake in this supper Amen. to do it in remembrance. It is in the memory of Christ that we do this. Amen. We don't do this because it's the first Sunday. Amen. No, no. We do it because we remember what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us. Amen. I don't know about you, but nobody else looked bled and died for my sin. Amen. Nobody else Amen. thought about me while they were in the garden. Asking the Father to move the cup from But had to say, not my will. Yes. Jesus. Right. But thy will be done. Nobody else yeah. sacrificed his life Amen. for millions of people that he never met. Yes. Amen. Nobody did that, y'all. But the Lord. Right. Christ. Amen. He is our Passover. Yes. He is our Passover. Why? Because of what he did, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Death angel has to pass by my house. Right. 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 <laughs> Woo, glory be to God. Amen. Because of the blood of Jesus. Yes, On the doorpost of my house. Amen. I'm not talking about my house in Elgin. I'm talking about this house. Amen. Because the blood of Jesus comes Where is your victory? 1 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. Somebody say, Thank you, Lord, for my new lump. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, you've been changed. Amen. Glory be to God. As ye are a leaven, for even Christ our Passover. Is sacrificed for us. Yes. My brothers and sisters, always remember Jesus. Amen. Always remember the Lord. Amen. He did it all for you, yes. and He did it all for me. Yes. The word remembrance yes. is the same word found in Hebrews 10 and 3, where Paul says, But in those sacrifices, there is a reminder of sins every day. Levitical sacrifices reminded men of sin. The Lord's Supper reminds us of the remission of sin. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We break the unleavened bread to remind us of his body. We drink of the fruit of the vine to remind us of his blood. Luke 22 and 2, Jesus says, I have desired to spend this time with you. Jesus wants us to remember him. He wants us to remember who he is. He wants us to remember how he went from the stable to the table. Amen. Always remember Jesus. Paul, to the church of Corinth, he tells them we must remember the purpose of this gathering. Many come together because they were hungry or simply because it was a party. But Paul says this we do in remembrance of the Lord. His life, his sacrifice, the breaking of the bread, remembering how his body was broken for you, how he was beaten, how he was pierced in the side, how a crown of thorns was placed on his head, his blood that was shed. Oh, my God. His, his sacramental actions <laughs> to keep fresh in our minds. His dying for us. As well as to remember an absent friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege. It is to carry. 
Everything. The good and the bad. Everything to God in prayer. Because of Jesus. Always remember him, saints. Always remember. Christ, even today, he still intercedes for us. Yes. He sits on the right hand of the Father. Yes. Still having us on his planet. Yes. They began to remove the sacredness from it. And they turn it into a time of fellowship and food thanks. Paul rebuked them, for they took the real meaning of the ceremony out yes. and replaced it with their own celebration. Amen. This event was sacred. It was a testimony of what the Lord did for all of us. Paul reminded the saints of God in verse 23, what he received, that is what he gave. He received life and he gave his life so that we can have eternal life. Paul was not present in the upper room, y'all. For the only ones who were present were the disciples of Jesus. Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Judas, Jude, and Simon. And on the same night, the Bible says, in which he was betrayed, the night Judas made the deal with the priest and the scribe for 30 pieces of silver, he sold out the Lord. And some of us do it today for free. We crucify him all over again. In the words that we say, the way we treat our neighbor. We hang him on the cross all over again. Yeah. Pierce him with our own nails. Yeah. Our very own nails. We take him and drive him into his hands and feet. Yeah. Once again. Yeah. But he still loves us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 24, I'm, I'm almost done. Take your time. Jesus took the bread, y'all, and he gave thanks. Mm -hmm. He broke it and he said, Take, eat, this is my body, mm -hmm. which is broken for you. Yes. Before he broke it, though, y'all, he had to give thanks. Yes. Knowing that the bread was going to be a representation of his body. Yes, God. Which was to be broken just for you. Yes. He still gave thanks. Yes. And we won't thank the Lord for nothing in the world. Mm. We go through life, go through our day, so busy that we don't even take time to tell the Lord. Always. Remember Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He was on his way to a broken body, y'all. But he said, do this in remembrance of me. He says, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup. It doesn't matter when you do it. It doesn't matter how often you do it. He said, just do it. That's a command from the Lord. That's a command from the Lord. His body was broken. They spit in his face. 
They violently struck him repeatedly. Matthew 26 and 67 says of this, others slapped them with the palms of their hands, stripped his clothes off, put on a scarlet robe, mocked him, spit on him. That's the lowest of love. To spit on somebody? <laughs> Place the reed in his hand, mocking him. Then they bow down to laugh. They took that same reed and beat him with it. Isaiah said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, every lashing that he took, as they stripped his skin off, with every whip, we are healed. Yeah. And he never said a mumbling word. Always remember Jesus. sisters, it's not social time. It's a part of worship service. It's a part where we remember what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did for us. If I don't take it for granted, I don't take it lightly. I don't play with God's communion. It's home. Amen. It's placed on this table. Nothing else is supposed to be placed on that table. Amen. It's holy. We are trying to remove the sacredness of it. Yes, Four words I got for you. We not gonna do that. <laughs> not on my watch. Not on my watch. And you should feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. The body and blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm. Always remember him. One more thing I realized about this is that a typical memorial, you just think about the past. But there was something significant about this one. It tells us of our future. Yeah. It talks about his return. He says, often as you eat this bread and drink it, you do show the Lord's death until he come. Oh, he coming back. Amen. He's coming back. And he's coming back for him. Church without spot ring. Judgment begins at the house of the Lord. celebration of the new covenant. This cup, the New Testament, 
Animal blood was the blood of the old, but Jesus' blood is the blood of the new. Amen. Paul let him know that you got to come to the table right. You got to come to the table remembering and honoring Christ. Because there were some who had never been clean. They were never washed in the blood. They were sinners who never recognized God as their all in all. So he said, you let a man examine himself. What is your purpose in taking me? That's what it means. Because sometimes we get it twisted. We feel like when it says examine ourselves, if we did wrong this week, I can't take communion. All right. But that's not true. Because if that was the case, ain't nobody. <laughs> Can I help somebody today? <laughs> ain't nobody will be taken. He said to examine themselves because they were doing it for the wrong reasons. They saw food and they saw drink and they wanted to have a party. Check your heart. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. <coughs> why, why are you doing this? Your answer should be, I'm doing this in the remembrance of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Yes. May God bless you. May he keep you. It was my prayer. Uh, we're standing in the Lord.